We need to pray for the president for preservation. When he's about to leave office and when he leaves office. Because what has been haunting him is still haunting. Are you hearing what I'm saying? From now until May 29th of next year, is it May 29th? It's still well over a year. Anything can happen. So every law-abiding and loving, loving citizen, pray for the president of Nigeria. For what? Preservation. Why? Because what is haunting him is still around. And stop there. It won't make sense now. When that time comes, that's when it will make sense. But wise people know what I'm saying. Now, this week, precisely yesterday, I was washing my plate in the morning. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me. And he said, David was in Saul's camp. So I sat down to meditate on that word. David was in Saul's camp. And I told us that the blueprint, the prophetic pattern that God is giving us for the next president is God wants to install a David, isn't it? And the Holy Spirit told me yesterday that David was in where? Saul's camp. Now, just here, while we're praying, I had a vision. And I saw a group of men standing on the line adjacent to each other. And this was, each of them already had somebody behind them. Each of them had somebody behind them. Each of them had somebody behind them. And they, this was a time of decision making. I know why sometimes I hide the words, okay? So that you can go and think and find out. So this was a time of decision making. And people were supposed to gather together and decide. But then shortly before the day of decision, I saw a rearrangement. I saw one of them on the front line step back. Away from the person he was standing in front of. And was struggling to be behind another person. And thus says the Lord, there will be an exchange. There's something that is about to come. Election. That the next name is the name of a school. You know, when you go to school, there is nursery school. Then there is what? So there's something about to come. It's called election and then the name of a kind of school. And there will be an exchange. So shocking will be the exchange that even within the people that want to decide, they will become confused. And there will be division. Well, let's pray that there is no inconclusion at the end of the day but however you know we are talking about two major factions there are others though, but there are two amen now, i'm not saying that the other the other parties are not uh, to be recognized you understand but i'm just saying for now in the blueprint <laughs> there are just two Amen. And I'm sorry for the other ones that are buying phones. Amen. Whether you understand or not, I've said it. Amen. I told the government official called me from Abuja, so <laughs> I'm not afraid anyway, but you know. So the one who is supposed to be in charge decided let's wait for these other ones to do their own first then when they finish from there we'll now so it's like a chess they sat down like a chess game 
Let's wait. If these ones bring their bishop ahead of their king, then we'll place our king. But if they bring their king and behind their knight ahead of their bishop, they will know what to do. So, but these ones that are going to start now are the ones I'm talking about, the exchange that will happen. The ones that will start first. Okay? What you call primaries. That is the, that's the exchange. Even now, as I'm talking to you, there are still consultations and meetings. Because they don't trust their self. So there will be exchange before that time. And when they gather for the decision, the whole place will be thrown into confusion. But somehow... They will arrive as someone. But well, whether or not they arrive as someone, unfortunately, that's not the angle God wants to come from. And let me tell you something about the will of God. He doesn't force His will. God will tell you, this is what I want. But He allows you to make your choice. Okay? So this is not about this party, that party, Christian president, Muslim president, this one, that one. These people, we gave them opportunity for so so number of years and they didn't do anything. How are we sure they will do something? Let's choose this one. And that's why every man of God, myself inclusive, will have to be very careful. Prophecies we give this time. See, if I didn't hear God, I won't come to you. If I didn't hear God, I won't be doing what I'm telling you. And this is not something I struggle and fast for. I can be washing plates and God is talking to me. And God says, go and proclaim this counsel. So there will be what? Exchange. Somebody say exchange. But remember I said pray for preservation. Pray for the president to be what? Preserved. Because what has been haunting, there is a spirit in Asu Rock that has not left. I hope you know that King Saul died in battle. Hi, these people. What are you reading? Is it uh, is it dictionary or Bible? We are a Bible believing. This is an apostolic ministry. We are a Bible. I, I spend time to teach you the word. So don't disgrace me here. They are going to watch you. Are you hearing me? King Saul died where? Who can look for the meaning of... There's a place King Saul died. It was called... In Second Samuel chapter 1. Media look for that place. It was called Mount Gilboa. It was a hill. Isn't it? I want somebody to look for the meaning of that word, Gilboa. That's why I say pray for preservation because if Saul died in battle, he didn't pass the battle, but he died in battle. Oh God. And he died on a hill, a mountain. And another or the mountain or the hill is symbolic of influence. That means it's not just a, pl- a hilly place. It's a, it's a place of influence. Ah, these people, they don't, they don't understand what I'm saying. And how the sword died, he took a sword and killed himself because he was wounded by the enemies. So that we will not make policies and plans that will affect us later. That's what I'm saying. That's why we need to pray. Finish your tenure and go back to your house. Whatever happens there, no problem. Because if Saul dies on Mount Gilboa, it may affect May 29th next year. He that has ears, let him hear. Praise the name of the Lord.